The Njaim are an ethnic group inhabiting the rainforest zone of southern Cameroon and northern Republic of the Congo. In Cameroon, the Njaim live along the road running south from LOMIA till the copyright, passing the government center of Ngoila and going as far south as Jadam. From there, footpaths extend to Saunke in northern Congo. Their territory lies south of the Nzaim people and north of the Bekwil, both related groups. Ngoila is the largest Njaim center. Saunke is equally important, but is a center shared with the Bekwil. They speak Njaim, one of the Make and Jambantu languages. The Make and Jaim speaking peoples entered the present day Cameroon from the Congo River Basin, or modern Chad, between the 14th and 17th centuries. By the 19th century, they inhabited the lands north of the Lom River in the Bord region between the present day eastern Adamawa provinces. Not long thereafter, however, the Bt Pahuan peoples invaded these areas under pressure from the Vutand Mbum, themselves fleeing Fulani warriors. The Mackay and Jaim speakers were forced south. Some groups remained in the vicinity of the Nyong and Jar rivers, while others continued their migration. This latter group included the Njaim. The Njim people and the Njaim are ethnically one, but they were separated by the Bad Weir and the Njaim. The Njim are located on the road from Abong Bang to Lome, beginning after the last Mecca village and extending as far as Mindaru. Other Njim villages are in Ajela and Lome. The Njim speak a dialect of Gunzim. The Njim, although being ethnically one with the Njim, speak a distinct language. They are found south of the Jar River where it passes Zalabat. The majority of Njim are subsistence farmers. Their settlements tend to follow existing roads, making the typical village a linear string of houses facing the road and backed by forest. Fields are typically very small usually planted in clearings cut out of the forest with axes and machetes and then burned. Major crops include manioc, plantains, and maize, with bananas, cocoyums, groundnuts, and various fruits raised in smaller quantities. Livestock are typically small animals that may be left to roam unattended, such as goats, sheep, pigs, and chickens. A smaller number of Njaim have obtained financial success in the cocoa and coffee plantations of Cameroon's forest region. Hunting is another common pursuit, especially in the smaller villages. Traps are the primary tool employed, though firearms are increasingly used today. Bush meat caught in this way is becoming an important, if unsustainable, source of income for many people. Some Jaim groups share a codependent relationship with Cameroon's Baka pygmies. The Jaim trade manufactured goods and cultivated crops for pygmy supplied forest game. The traditional Njaim house is a rectangular structure made of leaves folded over a raffia branch and pinned in place with a small twig. Alternatively, strips of bark could be used for the sides. The A shaped roof is covered in raffia palm leaves. Present day houses are made of vertical poles with raffia strips slashed horizontally inside and out. Mud is packed between the poles and held in place by the raffia strips. The roofs continue to consist of thatches made of raffia palm leaves, although aluminium roofing is also being used when finances permit. Wealthy in and those living in larger villages and towns often live in houses employing mud blocks or concrete blocks. Social organization begins with the family, which consists of a man, his wife or wives, and his children. Several related families often live together to form a village. At the next level, are several villages, that claim common ancestry to form a clan. In the past, these clan identities were of the utmost importance, determining one's friends, lineage, and potential spouses. This clan identity is much weaker today, however. Each clan is headed by a chief, though the modern chiefs are little more than figureheads.